Hi, Larry Berman here, and here's what's on my radar this week. Well, the list is about this big, so, you know, try to go through it very quickly. But obviously, uh, central banks in focus, uh, Jerome Powell in particular, and the Fed's uh, promise and belief that inflation remains extremely transitory. So that was the, the message of the week. Uh, response of the market, you know, not, not so sure. Um, but a couple interesting things on the horizon. So um, the EU is now talking about um, carbon related border tax. So for example, you know, uh, something, a product coming from uh, India or a product coming from China uh, in particular that is heavy in carbon uh, emissions on, on its creation would be taxed an extra duty at the border. So, you, you know, you have the makings of, of a different type of, of trade war here developing. Saw some rhetoric coming out of China, you know, stop warning us about uh, Hong Kong and you better be careful, United States. So a number of those things came into play. Uh, the big one of the week hit our, came across our desks on Friday and, you know, hat tip to uh, Peter Bookfar, the book report um, for, for opening our eyes to this. The, uh, House of Lords, uh, Parliament in the UK, um, their finance committee effectively put a, uh, a paper together and, and a study and basically said, listen, Bank of England, you've got to be transparent with us and you've got to prove to us that QE is working. And that is, um, I think, you're going to see more and more political rhetoric around this, uh, specifically from the more conservative side. Um, than the liberal side of, of, you know, various governments. So, you know, you've got this real challenge to, to policy. And again, make no mistake, it's the liquidity of central banks and what they've provided here to offset the massive amounts of, of debt that have really caused the extreme valuation or otherwise uh, would have been the worst uh, recession since since the Great Depression, basically worst economic hit, and you know markets you know within a stone's throw of all time highs, in in the U.S. for sure and in in many places uh, in the world. So, you know, big big challenge from that perspective over the next couple of months because we now have taper talk being considered. It would be be nuts for the Fed to pull back at this point. However. You're getting some political pressure in that uh, regard, again, from the political right. Um, 340 billion is the net uh, amount that, that needs funding between now and the end of September um, in the US. And bond supply is going to matter at this point. Right now, the bond market, completely benign to inflation, completely benign to supply and just powering through with yields, you know, moving lower. So you've got an incredible dynamic at play here that I think uh, on balance is, is, is suggesting some, some uncomfortableness with, with equities, given the money going into bonds, given that supply risk uh, on fixed income. So we've got pretty fragile markets. Uh, we've got all kinds of risk in the Fed over the next few months of making a bit of a policy mistake. And so easily equities 5 to 10% type correction here um, in the next couple of months. Now, from a bull and bear pick of the week, what's the best way to play this? You know, if, if you're smart, you, know, you, you, you put a hedge on your portfolio to, to buffer the downside. So... You know, the bear pick of the week has got to be to do something to hedge your portfolio a little bit. Listen, it's crazy to go out and sell everything. You're like, you really don't want to do that. Um, but buying some puts where put protection is relatively cheap makes sense. Other areas that are under stress, but that have long-term, uh, you know, huge potential. Uh, uranium, we nibbled on the uranium names this week. We heard on Friday there was a, a bit of a leverage fund in, in uranium that was get it, having to get unwound or delevered. Or, so there was a lot of pressure on the uranium names. If you like green energy and you believe that that's part of the future, I think you've got to buy dips in uranium. URA, Cameco, any of the names in that space are, are good plays on the long side this week. Have a great week, everybody.